day I'm off location hunting around South London. So I'm down in Broccoli now because I know of a few really good artworks down here that I can come and shoot against but I don't know if they're going to be good for positioning or actual access or cars parked in front of them so I'm going to scope them out now and get a couple of shots and see if they'll work well. There's two here by the roundabout and then two or three more over the other side so I'll go and grab those just after. So I really like this one, the Tiger, but the problem is it seems to be on private property, there's bins in front of it and access is pretty limited so it's not great for getting shots of you in front of but it's a nice one to get a photo of just the artwork. This one I think is by a guy who's lived around Broccoli for quite a while, quite a well-known artist. Um, I don't know about the positioning of it though because there's a lot of cars in front of it and it might be quite hard. The only way we can shoot is at an angle but let's go and check out and see what sort of shots we could get. So this Bob Marley wall done by Dale Grimshaw is pretty good because it's got a good space to stand, it's got great colours and there's no parking, well there shouldn't be any parking in front of it because there's a single yellow on weekdays. Um, so it's a, it's a pretty good one to come and do a shot if you want full body shot or quite a long distance away. Yeah, I really like this one on Harefield Road because it's a completely different style to all the others. Not your usual graffiti street art, looks more like a children's book illustration. This one's nice colours and good when the shutter's down on the shop. I'm not sure what the shop is or what time of day it opens but there's quite a good position to stand in front of it, but there is still parking issues with cars, which seems to be the problem with most of them, but you can get a pretty good shot here with not much else in front of it. This one by Richard Wilson um, is brilliant. It's of a, one of my favourite artists in the world, Roy Ayers, focusing on his infamous song. We won't go into the subject of the song, but the positioning is great because there's quite a lot of space. Uh, there's still, there are some cars parked here, which is annoying, but it's quite clear. There's not too many people walking past and the artwork itself is beautiful. So we 
we've now come from Brockley down into Peckham on our location hunt and we're getting a bit hungry now because we've done quite a lot of locations so we're going to treat ourselves to a lovely burger at Honest Burger. I can't wait. I'm very excited by this. Yay, burger! Let's do it. So the burger was nice, but not as good as the last two times I've been there. They seem to have overcooked it. Um, I asked for medium rare and mine definitely wasn't medium rare. But still quite tasty and the chips are always great. But yeah, just not as good as usual, but we won't judge it badly on one chef's efforts. So now we're down in Peckham by the cinema and we're checking out a place, what I call the pink room, or the pink wall. Um, you'll see it in a second, it's pretty good. But before that, here's another nice one to get some shots at. It's when the lighting's a bit better as well, it's not great today, but this is quite good. It's kind of old school classic graffiti style. I'll get a few shots of it now. <laughs> this doesn't seem very successful. There's loads of good places to shoot in here and there's no noise, there's no people, there's nothing. It's a really great just open space if you want some derelict kind of urban style shots. And then you get that the other way. Full amazing view of London. Then upstairs from here is Frank's which is a bar and nice to go, especially when it's a bit warmer. I don't think it's on at the moment because it's freezing. Sadly, I think that's a failed mission because it's too cold and winter times. I think uh, Frank's Cafe is shut at this time and so we can't get to the pink room. I'll update you if we have any more success. So back to another one of my favourite graffiti walls in London, uh, the Thierry Noir long one. I featured it before in the vlog, but seeing as we're location hunting, I need to add it to the list. Good job. 
done. So that one's always good because it's really long. There are lots of cars parked in front of it, but you get options because it's so long. Uh, you can also kind of take shots at angles and get a few straight on shots. It's a good wall for doing shoots at. Subscribe, 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 subscribe